And welcome back everyone to another episode of Let's Play with Wolves with Wolf Brother. We're still at the skeleton farm. Oh, it's it takes a bit of practice to move around like this. Everything is reversed. Let's give it a try. Anyways, bonk. As you can see, yes, it's a skeleton farm. And we have it running. And I've made many changes. But it is r up and running wonderfully. Um, it does seem like they only spawn up there. But still, at least there's less area for them to kind of walk around on. Hmm. I should really keep an eye on that some more. Um. So yeah, I've had to do a, quite a bit of troubleshooting as well. Because I had a couple holes in the system where they were getting out or stuff like that. And then I didn't have the proper fall distance, so I had to do uh, adjust it a little bit. I'll show you guys in a moment. Let's go d down to the main uh, staging area, actually. Um, because this is all temporary stuff up here. Um, and this is what's going to be the skeleton base of doom. Patent pending. Um, so I've already got a enchanting station up here that can get up to 30 levels. And we put a couple of chants on things already. I wanted to make sure I had a working, um, a good work pick, and I managed to get one. Also got this here, which is really pretty, really nice. Um, I suppose that's okay. Um, well, certainly better than an iron axe, so that will get the job done. Um, I think that's that one's me. Uh, also, meh, because fortune on a diamond shovel just helps you get, uh, what is it? When you're shoveling gravel, it helps you get, it gives you a bit better chance of getting flint, I think, which is something that you don't really need in large quantities, so not too useful a diamond shovel. And this is a pretty nice looking diamond sword, better than the one we have right now because it will last like three times as long. Like each level of unbreaking I think gives it a chance of not using uh, durability. So, like if you use it once it will like have a chance that it won't use the durability. Yeah I just said the same thing, it's only slightly different words. Um, so here's the upwards channel which I'm trying to prettify a little bit decided to use this um, white stained glass because that's what you get when you combine um, bone meal with glass. Like the, the bone meal acts as a dye. And so I've got lots of bone meal, so might as well. Um, so that's one skeleton spawner up there. Um, at some point, um, I want to get ice to put under it because if you have water flowing over ice it um, really speeds up things um, that the water is pushing so it could possibly speed up the system by a little bit if we put ice on the floor underneath the water so I want to do that and it will be slightly see-through which would be uh, cool looking as well want to do the same down here, but uh, putting in a glass ceiling over this one so that we'll be able to see things. Yeah, what I'm thinking of doing is kind of, uh, it, this is, oh, here's my hidey hole where I've been letting the, experience, the skeletons pile up while I just wait for them. That's called uh, going AFK. I don't know what AFK stands for just heard it used a lot where like somebody goes AFK and that's them not at their
their screen. I don't know. I should really figure out what that means. Um, but yeah, the plan is to like excavate most of this and kind of have a platform here where I can like look up at this um, spawner up here and then look down at that spawner down there. And I kind of uh, um, changed the uh, the water flows down there too. I kind of uh, deepened it and changed it a little bit. Um, oops, that was not clever. Oops, also not clever. Um, now I need to find those diamonds again. I have to go around this. Uh, oops, maybe not the spot to go. Access down here, anyways, when I kind of blast it in, probably. Uh, where did those diamonds go? Because I was waiting to get them with my audience here, because I thought that would be. Oh no! Oh no! Ow! Oh god! Oh god! No! forgot that I put the water flow back a little bit. That was dangerous. Let's watch our feet now. Uh, where was the uh, diamonds? Was that on the other side? Was there... I don't even know. Oh. Here they are. Aha! I was going the wrong way. So I've got a uh, Fortune 3 pickaxe here. Just one. And... Just one. That's kind of not nice. There! We got four from that one. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Oh, yeah. Well, another three? Yeah, three there on that one. There's going to be maybe one or two more hiding around somewhere. I can also use up in the coal here. I'll probably come back down for the rest of it at some point. There was a couple more diamonds somewhere, wasn't there? Yeah, right here. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's just this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I like. Come on. Oh, three. Still from like eight diamond blocks. I think it was because there was like, is there four or five down there? Three over here? I don't remember, but still, there were no more than ten diamond blocks, and we got at least double that. So that's definitely the way to go. Um, because I only brought over a couple, like a, a half stack of diamonds. That nicely replenishes it. Um, I was thinking about using some quartz to kind of decorate and make things nice here too, because I'm going to be spending a lot of time over here, I think. Um, <coughs> so, sorry about that. Um, so I want to make it really nice and pretty. Um, but yeah, what I s oh yeah, I, s I already said I want to turn this into like a where you can like see the bot through the bottom of that one and into the top of that one. Um, so most of the functional stuff is going to be over here. Um, like this is my haul so far from just the drops and stuff. Um, as you can see, a lot of arrows and bones. Definitely not going to have to worry about that type of stuff anymore. And the occasional enchanted items. Power 2 bow. Protection 2 unbreaking 2 leather tunic. Uh, protection 1 off of the golden helmet. Uh, half durability. 
And like these fixed bulls, I just, like you get so many of these almost broken bulls, I just combine them and it fixes them up. Um, and that's what the same thing with this leather cap too, and this leather cap, and this leather tunic. It's used uh, other pieces. So what we have here is um, redstone signal going up. Because if you have a lit torch underneath an uh, unlit torch, it or if you have a torch underneath another torch, it causes the torch on top to go out, and then it kind of keeps on um, rotating. So on, off, on, off, on, off, and so on. So that goes up. But then when you push this button here, it switches it, and at the top I have a piston, and it causes them to fall down because what they're standing on up there is a piston. Sometimes I still pick up the stuff even though I have this hopper right here. Um, and they build up pretty quickly actually. Um, like I just left for an hour and let it run for an hour and I had... Well, I was at level 20 and it got me to level 30 once and then I stopped killing them. Went enchanted something, came back, killed the rest of them and I had another 30 levels. So, um, it's kind of hard to judge. Kind of have to clean up this area too. I think I'm going to get another couple hoppers to help kind of catch items and perhaps kind of have it flow into different chests and stuff. I don't know if I can have it kind of automatically organize. And I had to run up to the top just like so many times to like try and pick stuff because they're getting caught up there and they were burning from the sun and like stuff like that. So I had forgotten to put a cap on it. Um, but I kept getting lost trying to find my way up to the surface so eventually I just came over here and made a ladder going up and eventually I'm going to prettify it. Ooh, ooh. Unfortunately, we seem to be near a slime chunk as well, so uh, that's where like slimes will spawn underground. So I've been managing to gather up a couple of slimes, slime balls and such, um, and I've just been kind of demolishing the uh, um, the mine shaft. There goes a the skelly. Because um, I've been using it to get all my resources and such. And it's kind of, uh, well, it's too dark for you guys to see underwater. Um, but it's like a mess down there because I had to redo some of the uh, wiring and stuff. Yeah, so this is where the uh, water elevator comes up. I had to fix this already because they are getting caught over here. Um, having fence posts beside like elevators and where mobs are moving is not a good idea because they always get caught on the fence posts and stuff because fence posts don't take up a full block since I'm standing like right beside it here um, so I just uh, replaced much of the fence with glass and then so they still come here and drop So as you can see, they're kind of piled up right there. I don't think they should be piled up quite right there. Hmm, I might have to fix this a little bit more. And then I have to come down into the water. Oops, wrong button. And then I should have... Um, there we go. So most of them should be piled up here. Should put some glass in here too so that we can see more easily what's happening. And so when the piston loses power, because like you remember the uh, off on, off on, off on um, torches here. So when the power goes off, this piston retracts and they fall down. 
so I have another kind of wait can still uh, basically I have a kind of a, a spot of water um, I think they're dropping down right they should be dropping down on top of this block and then there's a force of water there which pushes them this way and then it should push them onto here I might have to come up here and change just a little bit more to make it a little bit more efficient, probably. Well, I can always do that when I replace things with ice as well. I do want to do that. Um, do, do, do. Where is my... There it is. The entrance down. really need to make this into a proper thing or whatever. Um, oh, surprise me a little bit. And here they are, gathered for our good pleasure. As you can see, just, well, got quite a few just from within that recording time. Of course, if they have armor, they'll take a couple more hits. And this is why I have to put more hoppers around, is to pick up these items that kind of get tossed around. everywhere when they die. Um, and yeah, I hooked up our, uh, I made a portal and hooked it up to the uh, portal system. Actually, I had kind of one incident here where I, Since there's only one on the other side, I figured um, might as well just kill him and get whatever he drops. Um, but I, when I hit him, I pushed him back through the portal, and it's like that's about the worst thing that you can have happen because he can just start pounding on you and you won't even know where he is when you come through the portal next. Because they get very angry if you hit them. Um, but I just decided to suck it up and deal with it before before I forgot and fortunately nothing happened. I kind of built this I kind of built this side not realizing that it was the end that led off to nowhere because I kind of extended this road too far. Why are there so many of you guys around? I guess you guys can spawn up there. I need to fix that. Um, my uh render distance is on really low, but this kind of leads back and I hooked it up to the the uh, main roads. So you kind of have to take a turn to get here, but it uh, works for the moment. I'll really need to put walls on um, some of these uh, nether passages at some point. Maybe try and um, have it so that it's some sort of system that easily understood so that you know where you're going. That's why I'm kind of going for to, trying to attempt with some of these uh, nether um, bases as well. Because I got a lot of mossy cobblestone and lots of fences from this place, so I thought I might as well use it in the construction of a shelter for the portal. And I just like to use this for the, uh, the roads and stuff because it's helps prevent these guys from spawning. I was going to try and push them off. Um, but, uh, go, we'll go for some easy path. Now it doesn't hurt them. I don't think. Yeah, there he is. It's fine. He's going for a dip. Um, is that something? Yes. Oh yeah, and, and the, um, the white stone there is very visible, which is a positive. And I have another project that I don't really have, um, haven't really done much work on yet. Basically, I've just kind of started thinking about it. And, huh. Yay, made it is uh, 
well you know in these my I've showed you these in these mine shafts there are a lot of um, spider cave spider spawners and die. Um, and I've got one, two, three in close proximity to each other. Uh, not quite close enough to the spider scale. Spy oops, oops, oops. Uh oh, there go my gob stoppers that I had uh, for snack time. Um, they're not close enough to the s skeleton spawners to um, to hook them up all together or like have them running at the same time. Don't know if I'd even want that because it could uh, lead to some trouble. I've tried to hook up skeleton and spider spawners before and it's difficult because they're different sizes and just doesn't work very well. Um, but what I think I'm doing don't really need to trying to get experience off these guys would be is tricky there's always a chance that they'll poison you like if you get hit by a skeleton big deal you get hit by a skeleton it's maybe half hard if you're wearing armor I need to fix my helmet soon or get a new helmet um, but with a spider it's so annoying because with a cave spider anyways you get poisoned and you have to deal with that for like 30 seconds and it takes you down to like half health so it's a hassle so what I'm thinking of doing is well hooking them up together and having them just drop to their death and then I can get the uh, the spy the, the threads the uh, what's it called uh, string get the uh, string from them and the spider eyes. Spider eyes are important for some potions. Um, yeah, there's the ocean bottom up here too. Like that's how close it was to the ocean bottom. This is really weird too. Like this, I've kind of cleared it out a bit now, but there's only like a two wide um, hallway for the mine shop. They're almost always three. So it's very uncommon to see just kind of, not quite, just over a half of a, a hallway kind of here. And there's one, another one that was just kind of like one wide somewhere else. Don't remember where it was up here somewhere too. Yeah, was it this one? Yeah, this was this is it. Just one wide. So kind of random. No, this is from me. So I, was, I was up here searching around because I could hear them, but I couldn't find them. Then I did. They paid the price. But yeah, so I'm gonna hook up a, a farm for these guys too at some point, but it's gonna require a lot more well, digging of this area, which is why I wanted to uh, get a good work pickaxe to work on that. Um, yeah, I think I'm just gonna have some flows of water pushing them all to a central area and then having them drop and having hoppers pick up the items, but I will have to be in a certain area for it to be operational. Um, so I'll have to see how that goes because I haven't done something quite like this before. There's actually a fourth spider spawner, but it's a little bit too far away for us to hook it up with these ones. Um, so alas, that won't quite work. And when I did go to back to the main base, I uh, brought back some potatoes for us to potentially farm because we will need a, a food source over here. Because um, hitting those skeletons, you do work up an appetite. I tell ya. Um, not as bad as if you had to kill them from full health, but still, yeah, work up an appetite. Um, but that's going to be it for this episode, just showing you guys around here. I'm going to be doing some more work here um, for what we are doing. Hopefully going to uh, pretty this up a little bit too. Um, but until next time...